Hi YouTube. In a previous video I had uh, taken a look at the Sharpie pin and I compared the Sharpie pin to the Sharpie fine point permanent marker and we found that yes they both have a fine point but they were both two different kinds of pins. The permanent marker of course was permanent and the fine point pin well was a pin but it also had a really nice fine point. And so what I wanted was a fine point pen that I could write in the borders of books and so forth when I like to take notes. And in my search for those pens, I found something that I thought might be an alternative and that's these I buy them fine liner pens you see here. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at the iBiome 18 fine liner pens premium. You know, when I took a look at this package, the first thing that kind of jumped at me because my spidey senses went off was this logo thing here or this indication that it had 18 fine liner pins and especially because it had this red square with this white number in here and then down here you have this kind of goldish brown uh, long rectangle with black premium. Now tell me, have you seen this particular design before? Yeah. Let's see. Red square, white number, and we got that brownish gold rectangle that says premium on the bottom. Hmm. If you know what's up with that, let me know down in the comments below. All right. Now back to these pins. Got 18 of them, so I just want to pull one out. And we'll take a close look at it. Okay, it's a nice little simple plastic pin. It says uh, SR153, and then it says mm -hmm, 0.38 millimeter. And of course, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, means I have absolutely no idea what that says, nor do I know what that says. But hey, that's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, SEPA. Anyway, interesting cap on here. I like this little thing here. It doesn't have any real function other than to help you twist that off, I imagine. And then here is the point, if you get the point. All right, so I'm going to test this out. Let's take a look at how this little puppy writes. I'm going to get zoomed up here. Okay, here's the Sharpie pen I did in the video, and I happened to find in a drawer in another part of the house, this one here, oh, it's a different color. Okay, so I'll just put that to the side for right now, and we'll just compare it with this one right here. This is what I was looking for, but it's a little on the pricey side, and these were very economical, so I figured I'd give it a try. Okay. So this is the I Bayum. All right, first impressions, it writes really nice. So writes really nice. All right, now how about smearability here? Okay, so it doesn't seem to smear, it dries relatively fast I would imagine and there's nothing on my finger all right and so this little puppy here being a fine point of course it's good for some drawing <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, it seems to be pretty good for doodling. Doodling. Yeah. All right. So I'm just goofing around with this, but the pen writes really smooth. It's very fine point. Great for drawing little dinky things of work, whatever. And how does it write as far as small? Because that's what I want. Let's see. Can this write small? Well, it can. The question is how clear it is. Let's see. Can this write small? Oh, okay. I got to bleed together. A L L. Okay, so can this can this write small? Now the question is, how does it compare to that Sharpie pen? See, all right. Well, let's see. Well, there you have it. The Sharpie pen can actually allow me to write small and not bleed. Um, this one here, okay, I can write just as small, but it's, it's a little bit um, wetter, I should say. And so, even though you're going to get a darker print, um, it is going to get a little bit uh, difficult to get too small. So if that's not an issue, that's fine. However, uh, I like the fact that my Sharpie gets me really small without, you know, the chances of blurring them together because there just seems to be a little more ink spread with this. But could it be that it's newer? That's possible. I'm curious as to what this one does here. It has a strange color to it. Let's see. Oh, because that's the color. Ooh, this is nice. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's a kind of a peach color. I just found it in a drawer. I don't know whose it is. I certainly didn't buy a peach color pen. No, seriously, I didn't. I have no idea. All right, so my take on this pen is as such. I think it's a really good pen. I like it. I'm definitely going to use it. And it writes small enough that I'll be able to do what I need to do. You know, notice on the package here, you know, drawing lines and details and so forth and so on. Yes, you definitely can do that. So that's really good. It's excellent. I don't know how long... Uh, the ink will last. I'm sure that uh, there's plenty in here. Uh, it is a good price for 18 of them, so can't complain about that. There's nothing written on the back, so I can't read anything to you as far as that's concerned. But uh, for the price, these are very good pens. Now on the other end, of course, these Sharpie pens are a little more pricier. I don't know if that's more because of the name. Uh, these are not permanent markers. This is the pen itself. And you can't just write on any surface, as I demonstrated in a different video, you know, it's going to wipe off, and I'm sure this one will as well. But if you want to make sure, here's a piece of metal right here, this top. Okay, let's see, is this, and I can tell it's not, but here we go, permanent, all right, I'll just write that, is that perm? Okay, not meant to write on any surface because that is going to probably come off. Yep. So, same as the uh, Sharpie pen, and that is that um, it's a pen. You can't write on any surface, but it does a great job for details and doodling, you know, drawing little things, taking notes, 
really good for that. Okay, so there you go. They both basically do the same thing in that regard. This one here, the iBiome, is a wetter pin, apparently, is a wetter pin. Uh, so I think for drawing and details like that, I think that a wetter pin is actually nicer than one that isn't because it doesn't smear anyway. But if you want to write microscopically, which very few people do, but I happen to be one that does, then it might be a little bit harder with this particular pin because you get to that point where the letters will start to kind of, you know, blend. Because it's bolder. You can see it's a bolder right. See that? It's bolder. So you can't really get the letters as close as you can with this. But, you know, that's just... That's just such a tiny little thing and very few people really care about, about that. Anyway, I'm going to sign my name here in the back of this guy's shirt. Ooh, just barely got it in there. All right. Well, there you go, folks. It's the iBiom 18 Fine Liner Pins Premium. Let me know what you think about this design here. Because it just seems, are they getting this stuff from the same source? Hmm. I'm very suspicious about that. Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.